On Wednesday, Pope Francis will gather crowds here, on the steps of the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception, to celebrate the canonization mass of Junipero Serra, a Spanish Franciscan missionary who came to the New World in 1749 to convert native people to Christianity. Part of the Pope's message has been the, the outreach, the, the new evangelization, and Junipero Serra is the model of that outreach, a saint who was so involved in bringing the faith to the new world. The Pope chose to canonize Father Serra on American soil to highlight his success in helping establish the Catholic Church in the Americas. In a recent homily in Rome, Pope Francis called Serra a founding father of the United States. Junipero Serra was born in Majorca, Spain in the year 1713 and joined a Franciscan seminary at the age of 17. His travels through Mexico and California, beginning at age 35, were part of a Christian mission that would occupy the rest of his life. Sarah is credited with starting nine missions in California, from San Diego to San Francisco, and converting thousands of indigenous people to Christianity. He found out that God really wanted for him to take a trip that is giving up everything that I have, the possessions, the securities in my life, and to be able to get rid of this and to face a new environment, new lands, new people, to do what? To build with them. Sarah's canonization is not without controversy. Some in the indigenous community see him as part of the colonial movement that removed them from their land and destroyed their culture. Father Sarah was uh, an agent of Spanish colonialism. And as uh, an agent of Spanish colonialism, his his object was to assimilate the native peoples into the uh, orbit of the Spanish Empire. So one of the things that that Indians experienced in the California missions is they were being punished for the violation of norms that they had no part in articulating or forming. Still, Sarah's life has inspired many, and his legacy lives on to this day. Many of Sarah's missions have expanded into cities such as San Francisco and San Diego. A statue of Father Sarah stands in the rotunda of the U.S. Capitol building, along with President Ronald Reagan, to represent the state of California. When so many pilgrims come from California, from west to east, to witness and to pray about this wonderful news for them, is because Junipero has inspired them to do something good in life. And that's what uh, really matters uh, from a, a saint's life. For Sarah, though he is either remembered as a tyrant who perpetrated Spanish violence against natives, or as a virtuous man who helped establish a vibrant Latin American Catholic Church, his canonization might show how ordinary people might acquire the prestigious title. Canonization doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be uh, a superhuman hero. Uh, canonization is possible for people who live by the best lights that they can, who live according to the lights of their times, and who make who make decisions which you know a couple of centuries later might be regarded as um, as uh, unwise decisions. Saints are not people that uh, are kind of divine, but they are humans, humans who are connected to God's grace, and they try to do their best.